What's going on everybody? So I'm going to make a video on the study resources that you should use for general surgery as well as like a second like mini video on what you should physically bring to general surgery to succeed. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm assuming that you guys are probably either just now getting into general surgery or are preparing for it. So there's a few things that you must have. I think that the number one resource, physical resource for general surgery is a book called Surgical Recall. I got a PDF of it, so I can't show it to you, but it's basically like all the possible pimp questions that you will be asked during like each surgery. So it's normally a few pages on each topic. So like if you go and take out a gallbladder, there's like five pages on questions that they can just ask you about the gallbladder. That way you can just like rapid fire, know the answers and be able to have a conversation about it. Um, the next thing that I think you must have is a question bank. I have been using Amboss. I think I'm going to change over to Europe, but regardless, have a question bank. That way you can study while you're there and study when you get home, if you have time. Um, the other book that I physically have is called Dr. Pastana's. I bought this because everybody loves it, but honestly, it's just not... I don't know. It doesn't work for me. It's just like a textbook style book. Um, maybe you like that, maybe you don't. Um, one of the residents actually told me about this next resource. It's called Divergio Surgery Book. It's apparently like a 600 page book and it could have everything you ever need to know on it. No thank you. <laughs> um, maybe that's what you want. Just so you know, that is like the golden standard for like surgery books to know. Um, I don't know. I think I can't read 600 pages, especially when I only have two hours a night to study, if that. Um, but that's the main resources that I would use. And then the like obvious ones, like when you go to the clinic, like that should be treated like a resource because you're going to learn there. So like take advantage of that time, pick the attendings brains, like just like be able to get stuff from those experiences because I have got questions right on like Amboss that have been straight like wow, I just saw that in clinic. So use that for what it is. So the next question or the next little mini topic I want to talk about is what do you need to bring to general surgery? Do you need a stethoscope? I brought one and the surgeons made fun of me for carrying one around. Um, so I stopped carrying it around. Do you need a white coat? I also wore a white coat the first day and they made fun of me. So like for the most part, no. I would bring them with you and maybe leave them in your backpack or car, but you're not gonna need them. Even when I went and did clinic, I brought my stethoscope and never used it. Even if I'm listening to abdominal sounds, they're like, why are you listening to abdominal sounds? It's like, not what you learned in school, right? So just so you know, like, you probably don't need it. But you do need like a pen and paper. Um, I never used it when I was just on like OR days, but for your um, I, I didn't even need it for my rounds even, um, but for like clinic days, like you're going to take notes and like present it to the attending or resident. So those are the only two things I think you really could need is a pen and paper and then also a white coat and stethoscope should be handy, not necessarily on you. Um, but I hope that helps. Uh, good luck and I hope you do well. See you next time.